What's going on guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here and we are back with another Walking Dead, The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 3 is here today and I have to say man, this series is really shaping up to be great, the show, the season, awesome so far. Um, Last episode we saw they were trying to save Carl's life, still don't know if he's um, Shane and, and um, what's his name? That dude, that dude that shot Carl. Um, they're stuck. They went to get medical supplies and they're stuck. Um, that's how the episode ended. Um, some other stuff going on too in the episode. If you want to see my review of the last episode, episode 2, go and check that reaction out. Check out that review out. If you don't want to watch a reaction, that's fine. It's not there for you to siphon through or anything. Um, if you have not watched it... Click that link in the description on the last one and you are just go back, watch the reviews, see what what my thoughts are from episode two coming into episode three. But just going um going forward. These the these things <laughs> that are happening in this episode right now is pretty is pretty it's gut wrenching. Um I'm not gonna call Rick a he's not a deadbeat for for one he's not a deadbeat it's just that he feels like he has to rescue everyone he feels like he has to be the hero for everyone um and in some in some instances as a father you have to know that your family comes first you have to be there for them if somebody else is if, if there was nobody else to go i would understand if he went but if he had went in that situation where you got Shane there, you can ask to go. Plenty of people were volunteering to go. He had no reason to leave his child there by himself. Even when his wife came, I didn't want him to leave. They need to be there if somebody else is volunteer to go and get this stuff. They need to be there just in case he, he wakes up and, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, even conscious for, for five minutes. He needs to see them. So, um, so this is my opinion. So, let's jump into this episode, man. Link down in the description. You guys already know. Link is down in the description um, to go watch this full reaction, okay? So, thank you guys for watching, as always. And I will see you guys for the review. All right, we are here once again with another episode of The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 3. Um, started out with Shane cutting his hair, and then they did a, basically a flashback of what led up to that. Um, so, as you know from last episode, they were trapped, right? They were trapped. Him and Otis was trapped on a, in a high school trying to get out with the medical supplies to get back so they can perform the surgery on Carl. So, he was trapped there. They tried to get out. They met up back outside. I want to go through the whole events that, that went on inside the high school. They got the supplies. They were trying to get out. Every corner they turned, the walkers were at their tail. So, they, they had to figure something out. They went through some windows and they got outside. Okay? So, back on the farm, um, Glenn and Black Dude showed up. Um... Because he was sent there because he needed to get patched up. They knew there was a some sort of doctor there. Um, get patched up, whatever, whatever. Um, but he a G, though, for taking them stitches. No anesthetic, no nothing. Hey, there, he ain't crying. He's just, like, wrenching and stuff. Not even something in his mouth to kind of, you know, so he can clench down on. Nothing. He's just taking it like a G. I, I know that much. You can't take stitches like stitches, sewing stitches like that. Not what they do nowadays is a little bit different. Like the stitches, how they do stitches um, today is is a lot different. But that is old school um, stitching up um, a wound. Um, now they just do something. They have something like a stapler that does that junk now. So um, it's crazy. So. How far we've come in medicine, right? So it so for him to be taking that with the needle and everything, I know that shit is painful without anesthetic. So shout out to him. 
Anyways, it seems like Glenn and the girl seems like they're getting close or something like that. Um, Daryl, um, Daryl and I can never remember her name. She, they went out to go find, um, what's her name again? She's, I can, there's so many characters named to remember in the show. It's beyond me. It's like about 10 characters on screen right now. It, it, you can't, I can't remember all their names simultaneously sometimes. Um, so they went to go look for the daughter that's still missing. Um, they came back. They still haven't found her. Um, but old, um, the old dude gave her back her gun. Um, yes, this is a terrible review. Who's, um, who's Patricia again? <laughs> this is a terrible review. I've never messed this, messed up this much in a review. But you guys know who the hell I'm talking about. Um, you know, the, the characters in the show. Okay. Um, it's just that some of these characters, they're not as you know what i'm saying like i i um i know lori i know rick i know shane um so it's like remembering the rest of them names that's not so prominent on screen it's just like you know you, i i remember glenn because he's you know he's always the funny one in certain aspects you know what i'm saying so i always remember him um so there's so many of them to remember now. Now we got Herschel and um, Patricia. Patricia is looks like that's Otis's wife um, that was back there. Okay, so it, it's just weird. Eventually, I'll get it down. I should have had most of them names down by now, but apparently I'm drawing a blank right now, and I usually remember their names. Um, but, um, yeah, so it was pretty cool, but... The best thing to, about this episode was finding out what really happened to Otis. Because when Shayna rather was like, so what happened to Otis? They just off screen him, which is weird. Like I've never, I never seen that in this show because there's no need to, you get what I'm saying? There's no need to off screen anybody because you have a way to eliminate people on screen very quickly. So there's no need to off screen people. You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of new to me to to or you know what i'm saying at that point i was like why would they off screen but he was acting a little bit off and i was like why is he overacting so much you know what i'm saying i don't know if you understand what overacting is it's like showing a weird emotion that doesn't fit the scene you get what i'm saying like it doesn't fit the scene like i understand what i mean but he wasn't it just never felt genuine you get what i'm saying so that's why i was like laughing because i was like what is wrong with this dude like you know what I mean? The way how he's acting like he's out of it, like he's out of it. I was like, so when they when they were flashing back, I was like, was he lying about what happened to Otis? Is that what's killing him? Because and then when I realized when I go back and check how he was acting, it was it was a guilty conscience. You get what I'm saying? It was a guilty conscience. Um, So we saw what happened. He basically sacrificed Otis to get out of there, which is. Which one of y'all would have did that? I wouldn't have done that. I would have been, I would have been like, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go. If the zombies catch him, then they catch him. But I'm not going to be the one that slows him down, you know, shoot him so I can survive. Like, I'm, I wouldn't do that. So, I mean, I know a lot of people will probably disagree and say, I mean, I understand why Shane did what he did, whatever the situation is. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could kill somebody in that kind of situation to survive you get what i'm saying like he he basically killed them it wasn't the zombies that really killed him they finished him off but he killed otis you know what i'm saying so so that they can stop to feed on him so he could get space to get to the car his leg was banged up um because he took forever to go through the damn window so there's that so yeah some great things so that was a twist, you know, that was a twist there at the end that I totally get, right? So not much here, more that I want to say. Um, it's not the greatest review ever that I've done um, because I kept forgetting people's names. Uh, my mind is a little bit somewhere else right now, but I'm still 
trying to remember the stuff that happened in this episode. The episode was very slow paced. It was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad that now Carl is stabilized, so that's cool. Um, so, at least we know Carl is not going to die. Um, I think the girl's name is Sophia, the daughter's name that they went to, that's missing. I think her name is Sophia. See, everything come back to me now that I'm trying to focus. Um, so, that's great. So, I, um, she's still missing, but I, I'm glad that Daryl gave her some props and was like, listen, if I was missing and found my way back home back then, you know what I'm saying? She can do it. So, I'm glad he has that kind of faith in her for her to do that because, uh, you know, um, the girl that was with him was saying that she's only 12. And I was like, she's like, listen, I was nine when I was miss when I went missing. Okay. Survived on berries and shit. Um, and I got back home. So she can find her way back home. She just has to be determined to do it, which is actually true. But she also has to be mindful that she's up against walkers. You're really not, you were, you're probably up against wildlife, which is kind of like the same thing, but I think walkers a little bit more deadly because if you get bit by a wild bit by wildlife, or you could get mauled in the woods by a beer, you know what I'm saying, and and die. Kind of like the same thing. I don't want to say it's super different, but um, maybe those woods weren't as dangerous as what she has to face now. So it could be some sort of difference as in in those terms. So thank you guys for watching. As always, man, this is my review. For the Walking Dead season two, episode three. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're watching, I'm gonna continue doing these videos, even though they're not getting a ton of views. I'm still gonna do it because I'm enjoying the show. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming over, supporting the video. I really appreciate it. Just remember to to like the video and leave a comment in the comment section because if you guys don't do that, these videos don't get sent out into other people's suggestions. Okay, so. I, I noticed that on my Walking Dead um, reactions, I only have like maybe three, maybe five comments. Um, so there's not much, you know what I'm saying, coming from the people that are watching it. It's like about average around 50 views um, for 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 um for my Walking Dead reactions. So if you guys could just do that, that would be awesome. Some other people can know that I'm doing Walking Dead reactions over here. Um, so thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and peace.